Hello. We encounter triggers throughout our day, and sometimes we respond to them more skillfully than others. A driver cuts us off in traffic, the neighbor's dog is barking, the postman shows up at the door during a conference call and makes our dogs bark. A particular person at work triggers us almost every time we talk to them, perhaps because we feel a little vulnerable in our job right now. We might be in a difficult conversation with a coworker when we get triggered. We can shift our focus slightly away from her grumpy expression, which sets the alarm bells off in our head, to feeling the weight of our feet on the floor or focus on our breath. This allows our mind to settle down, refocus, and not be distracted by the emotion of the moment. We can even adopt a gentle acceptance of our emotional response. Instead of fighting against the trigger, we can recognize it and by doing so, minimize its hold on us. This gives us space to be more skillful in the conversation, allowing the emotion to pass through us rather than fighting it. This passing through of emotion has been called meshing, where you visualize your body as porous as a mesh window screen. When you feel triggered and these strong emotions arise, feel them fully, notice them, and then allow them to pass right on through your body, just like the wind through a screen. Notice these feelings passing through and not sticking to you. See that you are not this emotion. You're more than that. Knowing that we have the ability to experience all our emotions without having to amplify, suppress, or even act on them is a very powerful skill indeed. Of course, this ability to focus our attention and self-management doesn't happen overnight, but with practice, we can get these skills over time so we can manage our lives more effectively. Self-management allows us to handle our emotions so they facilitate rather than hinder our productivity. It's about delaying gratification to pursue goals, recovering when our emotional triggers get tripped, and leveraging our inner resources to respond rather than react and move forward from a grounded and focused state of mind. Now, this doesn't mean that we ignore our feelings, not at all. It means that we see and feel those feelings, recognize the emotion, and allow it to pass through rather than distract us. We can learn to manage our emotions more skillfully and still experience their richness and value. For example, fear is a totally justified emotion when we find ourselves in a crisis situation like a car accident. But in that moment, our priority is to get to safety and be sure that others are cared for as well. If the intensity of the emotion and the fear overwhelms us, things could go downhill fast. At times like this, meshing is a helpful way to focus on what needs to be done right now. On the other hand, skillful management of our emotions can be helpful in our work productivity as well as our personal relationships. When we're able to focus on what needs to be done in that present moment, we can be more effective and more efficient and often are looked at as someone people can trust in a crisis. We've all known that person who runs through the office like their hair is on fire every time there's a crisis. Who listens to them when it comes to things that are really important? We listen to the person we see as trustworthy, responsible, who can calmly give direction and quite often that ability to stop, recognize what's going on, and then respond is all it takes to make the difference. This ability also makes us more adaptable and resilient. Is there anxiety? Of course there is. But being able to recognize that emotion and regulate how we respond to it allows us to keep moving forward and make change faster and perhaps more creative because our fear doesn't own us we can slow down for a moment and see more clearly. We act consciously before we're forced to by circumstances, avoiding problems before they get bigger. All of this simply takes practice. Start small with triggers that come up frequently, like that driver who cuts you off in traffic. What are you gonna do about it anyway? Why get all road ragey when you could just simply shoot them some loving kindness and make your day that much better for it? Even those difficult conversations with our loved ones can be easier if we approach them mindfully. So give this a try with small triggers and see what happens. I think you'll be surprised.
Thank you.